This one. <laughs> oh, YouTube. <laughs> Why yoga? Why yoga? <laughs> Mega. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. How are you? You have a few minutes? Yeah. Okay. Conducting the session so flawlessly, I'm sure you all enjoyed the, the yoga and the atmosphere. So we'll do, we're going to do a thumbnail. Let's get a good background. This yeah. one here. Okay. Something like this. Yeah. This is a good one here. Um, this is Mega Gupta. Am I saying it right? Yes, correct. Absolutely. And you are part of Mimi Do's newcomer in Vancouver group. Yes. Yes. So I noticed uh, Mega posted uh, something about today. And today, as I understand, is the second uh, International Yoga Day. No, it's not second. It's been many years. Um, when we started it around 2019, it was uh, declared by Prime Minister uh, Narendra Modi that uh, 21st June will be celebrated as International Yoga Day. Okay. Worldwide. Because of COVID, we could not celebrate it much. But we are back again, and here in Vancouver, we are in, uh, celebrating the International Yoga Day today. I'm going to go this way because hopefully the sound is better. The sound is in here, and when the wind's blowing at it, and I'll edit it. Okay. So in 2018, there was an International Day of Yoga. 2019. Yeah. Then three years because of COVID, nothing, yeah. and now it's come back again. Yeah, the day was already there, but we are celebrating it uh, with everybody today again. Where where were you born? I was born in my country, Bharat. In which? Bharat, which is popularly known as India. India. Is it by Mumbai? Yeah, the Mumbai is one of the big city of uh, Bharat. And you grew up there, and how did you come to Canada? Uh, I grew up mostly in the uh, uh, capital region of uh, Bharat, which is uh, Delhi. Okay. And I came here uh, with my husband. I was working as a software engineer back in my country, where I oh. worked for more than 10 years in software. But then with our kids, and um, we both being in software, the thing was getting very difficult and very hectic for us. So we decided to move on to Canada with our work opportunity. So we moved in here, I stopped working here, but I was spending a lot of good time with my kids and then I got my second one. And then now finally I'm here, um, uh, starting my work again with both the kids. I'm, um, I've left the tech industry and I'm now working with the yoga and my finance business. Finance business? Yes. Uh, what do you do in finance? I help people with the complete financial planning. Okay. And I provide them the solution and um, the education about that, how the finances should work. So, and, go ahead. And I'm a yoga teacher as well. Yeah. I have myself practice of more than 15 years uh, and I'm still continuing. My experience has been so wonderful with the yoga that it made me quit my tech uh, career of more than 10 years and be a full-time yoga teacher. So I have, as you know, many friends who practice yoga and I'm a novice. I don't understand a lot of it, but because uh, I saw the message from Mega, I thought this is a good opportunity to ask the question, why yoga? So there will be a video that tries to answer that from today's event and another video which highlights Mega and people that attended here today who are gurus or teachers or people that believe in it. So. You were born in India, you came to Canada, you were in the software engineer, and now you're focused on financial planning and teaching, which you've done for 15 years. But how do you answer the question, why yoga? Why yoga for you? Um, I would say that uh, why yoga, the best answer could be the experience that you have with yoga. I believe that yoga is one thing that can unite the whole world that can not just unite the people but it can unite us the whole planet the whole being the whole idea of yoga is about being having union the union with the great cosmos the grand, union with each and every being which is here so that is what uh, yoga means the kind of experience the kind of serenity the kind of peacefulness that you get in yourself the gratitude the humbleness and calmness that's what mega uh, uh, yoga 
to be for everybody and that's what i feel and that's what i want to spread to everybody i want every each and everybody to experience it in their life that what joyful is truly what harmony is truly what being in unison being even uh, having compassion being aware of a small ant as well as a life which will make our uh, planet sustainable which will make our uh, planet a beautiful uh, place to live and that's what we can achieve with you thank you mega so you are teaching and it's it's a business as well right you offer this as a service to people that they can work with you on a regular basis or or how how is it offered maybe so uh, i offer private classes i offer online and in person i work with many community centers and as i advance in my journey i definitely want to take it as on a volunteering basis wherein i can reach to as many people as i can to make their life wonderful because money and everything is something that gives us pleasure but the real pleasure is lies within us the joyfulness the union of mind body and together the kind of experience if you have once you will never love to go back for the for the uh, happiness or for the joyfulness or the enjoyment to be precise that money or the any other worldly pleasure gives once you have that internal pleasure internal joyful you will never look for anything else and I, that's what i want people to understand so i take it i'm taking it up on the commercial basis but my aim is to go for the volunteering as well as much as i can when you have talked to people here in vancouver um maybe they didn't come from an indian tradition in any of the areas of india and you talk to them about yoga what have some of the reactions been both positive and maybe negative what what do people say to you when you say i'm involved as a teacher uh this is what i do and offer and i'm i'm interested in offering it to you what would people say to you uh i have not encountered so much with the people uh, who are not of india original and they want to do yoga but i have been to many community center where people have been doing yoga itself hmm. but my style of yoga is so authentic with all the breath works all the complete sub asana and all the meditation and mantras that when i go to those community center and when they see my style of yoga they want more of it so they all often come to me and ask me that for uh, they say feel that i have a lot of experience and they come and tell me that this is a very authentic and classical way of yoga and they really want more of it mm. so that's what the kind of feed that i have got from many of the people here in canada because uh, having that pronunciation having that breath uh, work and meditation is something that you won't find in the north american yoga Uh, one last question I like to ask people, Mega. Um, in light of your background, your personality, being a mom and a wife, and having the opportunity to come and live in Vancouver now, and offer yoga and offer financial planning services, what's your dream for the future? Uh, knowing a little bit more about you through this video, what do you want to see happen in the days ahead? Uh, for me, it would be like. I would like to find a place for myself, a very peaceful and joyful place where I can live with the nature, where I I can I could see not the concrete building, but the house is made up of really sustainable things, and where people are not uh, driven by uh, the worldly pleasure, but the uh, but the real spiritual uh, compassion that they may have, the re real spiritual pleasure that they may have. I want. people i want a world like that i want a place like that i would like to go back to my country and settle down there somewhere with all the values that my country has given to the world mm. it's priceless there is no name for it there is no religion for it i believe that's the way of living and i would like to go back and settle down in one of those kind of things of my good old in bharat sone ki chidiya bharat Thank you very much and if people watching this want to get in touch with you or for either financial planning or for yoga help how would they reach you Uh you can always call me on my number uh which is 7786687308 or you can even email me oh. it's m e g h a 249@gmail.com Thank you very much for spending some time and helping us answer that important question you've been asking Why yoga? Here is somebody that would love to explain more detail and help you maybe find a better way of living. 
I would like to uh, help you with the balance of the life, the balance of mind, body, and soul. Thank you, Art of Living. And definitely, so I want to thank Danny so much for this that he gave given me this opportunity uh, to so spread my word, to spread what I feel about yoga because I'm so passionate about it. I just everybody to feel it. Thank you so much, Danny, for giving me this opportunity. Thank you for sharing time together. Yeah. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye bye. Thank you. So today all about answering the question why yoga we're just after the truth today about the answer to this very important question why yoga let's find out as you know here at advisor Danny I'm Danny I like to help small business owners with their dream and I like to make videos videos that inspire with other people's stories and their beliefs and their ideas and their thoughts it deals with travel and it does of course with meeting small business owners and seeing how we can best help them and maybe some small ways see you soon bye bye